Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to take a look at the circle arc length and we're going to examine the change in the position vector to any point on the circle with respect to the arc length and with respect to the parametric variable t and the relationship between them. So let's examine that a little bit. First of all, we understand that the position vector will point to any point on the circle and so we define it as r as a function of t, t being the parametric variable. In this case, the parametric variable is the angle in radians relative to the positive x-axis. And then the arc length here is the length on the curve of the circle. We can see then that the, the equation, the, the uh, position vector equation can be defined as 2 times the cosine of t in the i direction plus 2 times the sine of t in the j direction because we define the radius of the circle being equal to 2. Notice that the parametric variable will go from 0 to 2 pi that gives us one complete circle. Now we're going to relate the arc length along the edge of the circle and we can say that s equals the radius of the circle times t which can also be defined as the magnitude of the position vector times t and in this case that's equal to 2. So s equals 2t or t is equal to s divided by 2. It's kind of interesting how the parametric variable, the angle, is simply equal to the arc length divided by 2. So what we could do then is we can represent the position vector in terms of s instead of in terms of t. And since t is s over 2, we can write 2 times the cosine of s over 2 instead of 2 times the cosine of t. The same with the sine. And then if we take the derivative of that position vector with respect to s, with respect to the arc length, we get minus the sine of s over 2. Remember that if we take the derivative of cosine, we get minus sine. And then the derivative of the angle, we get 1 half, which cancels out to 2. Same over here. We get the derivative of sine is the cosine. Derivative of, of s over 2 gives us 1 half, cancels out to 2 over here. Now I want to show you that there's a relationship via this equation right here that the derivative of the position vector with respect to the arc length is equal to the derivative of the position vector relative to the parametric variable times the derivative of the parametric variable relative to the arc length along the circle. So if we take dr dt and we have r defined in terms of t, we get this equation right here. So that's the derivative of, of the position vector equation in terms of t. Then if we take the derivative of the parametric variable t with respect to s, we take the dt ts, which gives us 1 half. When we multiply these two together, we get this. And then again, if we remember that t can be represented by s over 2, we plug that in here. And again, we have the derivative of the position vector with respect to the arc length is the same thing that we got when we did the derivative directly. So again, there's a relationship between a circle the arc length, the position vector, and the parametric variable t. And that's how it's done.